Tonight on Capitol Hill, a procedural vote in the Senate could spare the federal government from shutting down. The vote also means billions of dollars of funding will move forward. That includes more than $12 billion in emergency aid for Ukraine, $2 billion for disaster relief, including for places like Jackson, Mississippi, and $1 billion for heating assistance to low-income families. The bill's negotiations centered on a proposal from Democratic Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia. His addition would have changed the process for approving energy projects that would, among other things, benefit a natural gas pipeline project in his state. Lawmakers from both parties rejected that proposal. Also removed from the bill were President Biden's requests for emergency COVID and monkeypox funds. Those items had very little support from Republican lawmakers. But the funding bill itself did pass with more than 70 votes. NBC's Julie Serkin has more from Washington. Hey, Julie. Yeah, Joshua, it's good to be with you. The Senate moments ago taking their first step in advancing the continuing resolution. That's that stopgap government funding bill that needs to pass before midnight on Friday because that's when the government runs out of money. But one major hurdle standing in their way, you talked about it at the top, is permitting reform. That last-minute curveball by Senator Joe Manchin announcing that he had asked Majority Leader Schumer to strip that proposal, his proposal, out of the continuing resolution solution, seemingly realizing that he didn't have enough votes to actually get it across the finish line tonight. I spoke to Senator Manchin just a few moments ago. He said this is not the end for his bill. He was having uh, conversations on the Senate floor with Republicans, including with Leader McConnell, who some can say single-handedly led other Republicans in tanking his uh, biggest proposal, this deal that he made with Minor uh, Majority Leader Schumer, excuse me, back in the summer when they were negotiating the Inflation Reduction Act. So where does this go from here? Big picture, the CR, the continuing resolution, is expected to pass. It's expected to pass well before Friday's deadline. Of course, as you know well, up here, any one senator can object to a time agreement, potentially kicking it into the weekend. But with the midterm elections just a couple weeks away, that is unexpected to happen. Joshua? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.